everybody. Gina DeLuca here. All right, I already have a mess going. Uh, <laughs> I'm I'm in full mad woman experiment mode, and so uh, I didn't clean up from my last painting. I just want to keep going. So what I have going on here, I have the Tri Art Liquid Glass. Um, it's a pouring medium, but you can use it as a varnish. It is absolutely gorgeous as a varnish. And I wanted to try something today with uh, pigments and a flip cup and using the tri art in between the pigments to kind of see if I can get them to lay over top of each other in like a very ethereal fashion. So that's what I'm going to be trying today. A very expensive experiment. Uh, you know, I make the mistake so you don't have to. So what I have going on here so far, um, my canvas I have covered with a mixture of uh, Liquitex Basics Prussian Blue and uh, the Dioxazine Purple. It makes a very, very deep outer space kind of color. Um, not quite black, but it is very dark, so it makes these pigments really pop. So I've done a coat of that. I've let it dry. It's mostly dry. It's still a little bit damp on the edge there. But uh, as far as the pigments go, the colors that we have going on, this is, um, which one is this? Pretentious. This is the stuck up pig pretentious. So you can see when it is mixed with, um, this Tri Art Liquid Glass, you really can see the color of it a lot better than you can when using Floetrol or Mix or something that is milkier. This one is uh, Boastful. It's a stuck up pig as well. These are from Fluid Art Company and they're it's hard to tell, but they're chameleon and they changed to several different colors. And I also have Pompous, which is another of the, uh, I'm trying to get the angle. There's a little bit of it. But, uh, I am in love with these chameleon pigments. I, I They're just so, so gorgeous. Um, other colors I have are the Color Art Bling It Interference Blue, which is a gorgeous, I love that color. Interference Violet. I have some interference green, which I may or may not use. We'll find out. These are just leftover paints from my last pieces. And this is the this little piggy golden peach. And this little piggy enchantment. So you can see I don't have much left of some of these and I want to use them up. But I'm trying to figure out, you know, hmm, how can I use these? So we're going to try this. Uh, all I've done to mix these pigments, I put a bit of the tri art in the cup. I then add the pigment and I'm wearing a mask while I do this. Always wear a mask when you work with pigments. Once those pigments get in your lungs, they are never coming out. So do not play around with that, wear your mask. Um, so I put the tri art in the cup and then the pigment and I mix it together and then I add more of the tri art. Um, yeah. 
Have you seen the Fluid Art Inspiration cards? If you have, you can fast forward about a minute, but if you have not, what we have are 52 cards. There are 42 technique cards, and each technique card has an associated video here on YouTube. This is what we're doing today, sort of. Uh, this is the uh, painting that is in that video. This box contains a tip for this particular technique. And here at the bottom, you have the color palette that was used in this painting. And then these two boxes are meant to go together as the basis of a two color palette, or you can build off of those two colors. And there are eight bonus color palette cards. Each one has five color palettes. You can use all of the colors or just some of the colors. Mix and match the bonus color palette cards with the technique cards, and you have more paintings than you could ever paint in a lifetime. These are available at my website, ginadeluca.net and also at amazon.com. I'm actually gonna start with some of the clear. Okay. And now for the pretentious. It's already interesting the way it's looking in the cup. So I'm going to be very curious to see how this works out. I don't think I would, if maybe you'll be able to see that. All right, and then I will do some of the interference blue. And then a bit of clear. Okay, so far it's looking kind of interesting. Okay, I will do Boastful next. I think I'll do the Interference of Violet with that. And again, some clear. And pompous. And golden peach. And again, a layer of tri art. Okay, the enchantment. I have some interference green and a layer of liquid glass. Okay, this might be crazy. I experiment so you don't have to. Okay, I'm just gonna drizzle in. This is basically the same color that's on the canvas here. And I just want to drizzle in something, a little bit of something that isn't a metallic. Just to see what it does. I may regret doing that. We'll find out. Okay, going back in with the suck up pigs. Again with the boastful, gorgeous, gorgeous green. It's the interference blue. And this is the interference violet. A little bit of his boastful left, or pompous. Okay, I have, well, 
that's just going to be what it is. Uh, <laughs> I have successfully used up several of my um, leftovers there. And you can see what's going on in here is kind of really trippy looking. I don't know if that's showing, but... So... I have to decide, do I flip and then worry about the base coat? I think that's what I'm gonna do. And uh, here we go. You stay. So these cups weren't like completely full, which is how I would normally do it. But I also didn't want to waste product because this is not Floetrol and Artist Loft, right? This is the real deal good stuff. So I'm kind of letting this settle before I flip it. And I will add what is needed when I decide what that is. But so far, this is looking very cool. What has just kind of slipped out on its own. All right. I'm going to give this a little something something there. I don't think I'll be needing extra anything. I think it should be enough to get coverage. What I am gonna do is take my airbrush and just pop these bubbles. You don't have to use a torch to pop bubbles. You can use your airbrush too. If they're very stubborn, then you might need the torch. I might need the torch. If they're very stubborn, you might need your skewer. That was a very, very stubborn <laughs> bubble. And what's interesting is you can kind of see some bubbles underneath. But uh, do I spin or do I tilt?
I'll be very interested to see how this dries. But, uh, I mean, it's gorgeous, I think. I'm going to touch up these edges and we'll bring in for close up of the wet piece and I will let this dry and I will also show you the dry piece. So back in a few. Okay, here it is wet. Let me see if I can get any of those angles. It's not exactly the, what I had in mind. I think I might have just used too much pigment, but we'll see when it dries. I think it needs to be a lot less pigment and more of the pouring medium. But still, this is very pretty. The pigments are gorgeous. But we will see what happens. We will see what kind of fades away and what becomes more prominent. But that's where we are right now. Okay, hang tight for the dried piece. Okay, here it is dried. I mean, the finish on it is beautiful. It looks like it's already been varnished. Not a whole lot of separation in the pigments. Actually, there's kind of some interesting effects going on. I don't know if I'll be able to kind of see those like striations in there it's kind of an interesting effect very outer space like but it was not the effect that I was going for you see those like ripples it's not rippled, it looks rippled. I mean, it's very pretty. I mean, just, you know, the colors together and the sparkle and Not necessarily my my typical uh, composition going on there, but so it has an interesting effect. Um, I will play around a bit more with uh, with this as a pouring medium and see what happens. I do love the finish. I mean, I bet like, you know, one coat of that as a varnish would uh, look even more resin-like. I hope you learned something. I hope you enjoyed. Please do like, share, and subscribe and all that good stuff. Do check out the description box below for links to uh, my affiliates. The uh, There are also coupon codes with the affiliate links. And if you use those links, anything that you purchase off of those websites, I receive a small commission at no additional cost to you. You'll also find the link to my website, ginadeluca.net in the description box. It's where you can find my art and music and fluid art inspiration cards for sale. And you will find the link to our Facebook group, Go Make Some Art, join us there, post your masterpieces, ask your questions, get some inspiration, a good time is had by most, it is the internet after all. All right, that is it for me for today. I hope y'all have a beautiful day. Now go make some art.